Benito Mussolini was a politician and a journalist and the founder of fascism who became dictator in Italy and was later killed by his own people. Benito Mussolini served as Prime Minister of Italy for almost 20 years. Benito Amilcare Andrea Mussolini, who went by the nickname El Duce or the leader, was an Italian dictator who created the fascist party in 1919 and eventually held all the power in Italy as the country's prime minister from 1922 until 1943. An Adrian socialist as a youth, Mussolini followed in his father's political footsteps but was expelled by the party for his support of World War I. As dictator during World War II, he overextended his force and was eventually killed by his own people in Mezegra, Italy. Benito Amilcar Andrea Mussolini was born on July 29, 1883 in Italy. Born to a socialist father, Mussolini was named after leftist Mexican president Benito Juarez. His two middle names, Amilcar and Andrea, came from Italian socialist Amilcar Cipriani and Andrea Costa. His father, Alessandro, was a blacksmith and an impassioned socialist who spent much of his time on politics and much of his money on his mistress. His mother, Rosa Maltoni, was a devout Catholic teacher who provided the family with some stability and income. Benito Mussolini had a brother named Orlando and a sister named Edwige. The eldest of three children, Mussolini showed much intelligence as a youth but was boisterous and disobedient. Mussolini was known for having a short temper that caused problems throughout his childhood. Prone to insolence and violence, Mussolini was sent by his parents to a strict Catholic boarding school. At the age of 10, he was expelled from a religious boarding school for stabbing a classmate in the hand with a knife. Before turning 20, he stabbed a few more peers, including one of his girlfriends. His father instilled in him a passion for socialist politics and defiance against authority. Though he was expelled from several schools for bullying and defying school authorities, he eventually obtained a teaching certificate in 1901 and for a brief time worked as a schoolmaster. In 1902, Mussolini moved to Switzerland to promote socialism. While living in Switzerland from 1902 to 1904, he cultivated an intellectual image and wrote for socialist periodical such as L'Avonir del Lavatare, meaning the worker's future. He quickly gained a reputation for his magnetism and remarkable rhetorical talents. While engaging in political demonstration, he caught the attention of Swiss authorities and was eventually expelled from the country. Mussolini returned to Italy in 1904 and continued promoting a socialist agenda. As a socialist youth, Mussolini declared himself an atheist and railed against the Catholic Church, going so far as to say that only idiots believe Bible stories and that Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalena were lovers. He was briefly imprisoned and upon release became editor of the organization newspaper Avanti meaning forward, the official daily newspaper of Italy's socialist party. In 1909, Mussolini moved to Austria but his attitude and criticism about its politics had him thrown out and he moved back to Italy. While Mussolini initially condemned Italy's entry into World War I, he soon saw the war as an opportunity for his country to become a great power again. He was expelled from the party over his support for World War I. He married Ida Dassler in 1914. They had a son named Benito Albino Mussolini, but Benito again got married to Rachel Goody, who was his mistress, in 1915. To save his political career and hide the information about his first marriage, both his first wife and son were persecuted. Mussolini had two daughters with Rachel Goody. In 1915, during First World War, Mussolini joined the Italian army and fought on the front lines reaching the rank of corporal. In 1917, Mussolini was discharged from the Italian military after a mortar bomb exploded in his trench and more than 40 shards of metal entered his body. He again resumed his career as a journalist. 
After the World War I, residents of Italy were looking for a chance to make Italy strong again and started forming small local groups. Mussolini brought all these groups together and took them under his leadership formally on March 23, 1919. The group was called Faschiden Combattimento, the fascist party. On March 23, 1919, Mussolini founded the fascist party which organized several right-wing groups into a single force. The fascist movement proclaimed opposition to social class discrimination and supported nationalist sentiments. Mussolini hoped to raise Italy to levels of its great Roman past. Mussolini criticized the Italian government for weakness at the Treaty of Versailles. Capitalizing on public discontent following the World War I, he organized a parliamentary unit known as the Black Swords, who terrorized political opponents and helped increase fascist influence. As Italy began to sink into post-war disorder in the 1920s, he rallied thousands of disgruntled, demobilized Italian soldiers into his own Black Sword Militia. He was known for taking part in violent activities and calling for strikes to create change in the system. Victor Emmanuel III was the king of Italy when Mussolini launched his grassroots party. From 1920 to 1922, armed fascist squads faced minimal interference from the police or army as they roamed the country, causing property damage and killing an estimated 2,000 political opponents. Many other citizens were beaten up to or forced to drink castor oil. Then, on October 24, 1922, Mussolini threatened to seize power with a demonstration known as the March on Rome. Though Prime Minister Luigi Facta knew of these plans, he failed to act in any meaningful way. Finally, when fascists began occupying government office and telephone exchange on the night of October 27, Luigi Facta and his minister advised King Victor Emmanuel III to declare a state of emergency and impose martial law. The wavering king refused to sign any such decree, however, and Prime Minister Luigi Facta was forced to resign. With Italy's leading non-fascist politician hopelessly divided and with the threat of violence in the air, on October 29, the king offered Mussolini the opportunity to form a coalition government. But in October 1922, when Mussolini and his followers marched on Rome, King Victor Emmanuel III feared that Resisting the fascist would only result in more bloodshed and chaos. The king, Victor Emmanuel III, put up no resistance as Mussolini's mob barked into the area. In fact, the king ended up legitimizing the march by appointing Mussolini prime minister, thinking that the appointment would push Mussolini to cooperate with parliament. So in 1922, Mussolini marched on Rome and a nervous king, Victor Emmanuel, successfully lobbied Mussolini to become prime minister and to form a new government. As Italy slipped into political chaos, Mussolini declared that only he could restore order and was given the authority in 1922 as a prime minister. Benito Mussolini became the youngest prime minister in Italy's history when he was elected in 1922. During this period, Mussolini became a role model for Hitler. Hitler admired his political skill, his dramatic style, and his talent for using brute nationalism to mobilize the masses. Adolf Hitler admired Mussolini and modeled his Nazi party after fascism. Hitler wrote him asking for an autograph picture, but Mussolini tossed the letter in the trash. Benito Mussolini gradually dismantled all democratic institutions. As the new Prime Minister of Italy, Benito Mussolini continued to use violence, threats, and intimidation to tighten his control. He censured the media, controlled the courts, and imprisoned anyone who opposed him. In early 1925, he declared himself dictator of Italy, an announcement that spurred his enemies into action. Over the next two years, Mussolini tossed numerous failed assassination attempts, but the assassination threats did not deter him. Instead, he prohibited local election, brought back the death penalty for crime against the state, outlawed opposition parties, 
and increased the activities of the secret police. Mussolini reduced the influence of the judiciary, muzzled a free press, arrested political opponents, continued condoning fascist squad violence, and consolidated his hold on power. In 1925, a law was passed that altered Mussolini's formal title to head of the government. As per the new law, Mussolini was no longer responsible to parliament anymore and could only be removed from his position by the king. By 1925, he had made himself dictator, taking the title Il Duce, the leader. Following a series of assassination attempts in 1925 and 1926, Mussolini tightened his grip even further, banning opposition parties, kicking out over 100 members of parliament, reinstating the death penalty for political crimes, ramping up secret police activities, and abolishing local elections. He raised penalties for abortion, restricted nightlife, regulated women's clothing, and banned homosexual acts among adult men. Despite having many mistresses himself, he also put in place harsh punishment for adultery. To his credit, Mussolini carried out an extensive public works program and reduced unemployment, making him very popular with the people. Mussolini wanted to recreate Italy as the Roman Empire with himself as Caesar. Benito Mussolini was nominated for the 1935 Nobel Peace Prize. In 1935, determined to show the strength of his regime, Benito Mussolini invaded Ethiopia. The ill-equipped Ethiopians were no match for Italy's modern tanks and airplanes and the capital, Addis Ababa, was quickly captured. Mussolini incorporated Ethiopia into the new Italian empire. He authorized the use of concentration camp and poison gas to help put down a rebellion in Libya which at that time was an Italian colony. Poison gas was again used illegally during the conquest of Ethiopia in 1935 and 1936, after which Mussolini declared that Italy finally had its empire. Adolf Hitler supported Mussolini to acquire Ethiopia. Italy invaded and annexed Albania. Impressed with Italy's early military success, German dictator Adolf Hitler sought to establish a relationship with Mussolini. Flattered by Hitler's overtures, Mussolini interpreted the recent diplomatic and military victories as proof of his genius. In 1939, Mussolini sent support to fascists in Spain during the Spanish Civil War, hoping to expand his influence. That same year, Italy and Germany signed a military alliance known as the Pact of Steel. Mussolini entered into this pact because he had become convinced that Germany would win the war quickly. With Italy's resources stretched to capacity, many Italians believed Mussolini's alliance with Germany would provide time to regroup. Influenced by Hitler, Mussolini instituted discrimination policies against the Jews in Italy. In July 1938, the government began passing anti-Jewish laws. A few months later, Mussolini announced that foreign Jews would be deported and those naturalized after January 1919 would lose their citizenship. Mussolini adopted Hitler's idea in regards to Jewish people and initiated the same discrimination policies against Jews. He considered expelling Jews an easy way to ingratiate himself to his Nazis' allies. Hitler's invasion of Poland and declaration of war with Britain and France forced Italy into war. In 1940, Mussolini sent Italy into Second World War on the side of the Axis countries. Embarrassed by his army's failure in Egypt, Mussolini, against the advice of Hitler, attacked Greece on October 28, 1940. Six weeks later, this attack stalled as well. Defeated, Mussolini was forced to ask the German dictator for assistance. On April 6, 1941, Germany invaded both Yugoslovakia and Greece, ruthlessly conquering both countries and rescuing Mussolini from defeat. Despite Nazi Germany's victory in the early years of World War II, the tide eventually turned against Germany and Italy. By the summer of 1943, with Germany bogged down in a war of attrition with Russia, a light force began bombing Rome. Members of the Italian fascists 
council turned against Mussolini. They convinced the king of Italy to resume his constitutional powers. Mussolini was arrested and sent to mountain resort of Campo Imperatore in Abruzzi. But to save Mussolini, Hitler came to rescue. On September 12, 1943, a group of German glider pilots rescued Mussolini from his prison in a mountainside hotel in central Italy. The colonel in charge of the mission told Mussolini that Hitler had sent him and that he was free now. Mussolini reportedly responded, I knew my friend Adolf wouldn't desert me. At Hitler's command and with the help of German forces, Mussolini seized power again in northern Italy. Upon regaining control, he immediately sought revenge on members of his close circle who he believed had betrayed him. One of them was his own son-in-law, Galeggio Ciano, the fastest government's foreign minister. Mussolini then moved his government to northern Italy, hoping to regain his influence. On June 4, 1944, Rome was liberated by allied force of Russia, United Kingdom and USA who marched on to take control of Italy. Following the liberation of Rome by allied forces, Mussolini and his mistress Claretta Petacci had attempted to escape to Switzerland but were captured by the Italian underground on April 27, 1945. Mussolini aged 61 and his mistress Claretta Petacci were executed on April 28, 1945 in Mezegra near Dongo, Italy. His body was brought back to Milan where it was dragged along the streets and hung upside down for public display. The corpse of Benito Mussolini and his longtime mistress Claretta Petacci were set upon by an angry mob. One man pushed a dead rodent in Mussolini's mouth while two others repeatedly kicked the dead man's face, shattering the bones in his face and jaw. A woman approached the corpse and shot five bullets into his skull one for each one of her five sons who died under Mussolini's rule. Another woman startled the dead Mussolini and urinated on his face, although most of the crowd was content with less creative violation, simply spitting on the corpse. The bodies of Mussolini, his mistress and four others were then strung up by their ankles about six feet off the ground as the mob celebrated his death an undignified end to a tyrannic dictator. The Italian masses greeted Mussolini's death without regret. Mussolini had promised his people Roman glory, but his megalomania had overcome his common sense, bringing them only war and misery. Mussolini had two wives, six children, and numerous mistresses during his life. His first wife was Ida Dalsler and they shared one child. Ultimately, Mussolini would have both Dasler and their son, Benito Jr., locked away in a mental institution where they died. He had not seen them after World War I and since he needed the endorsement of the Vatican in his heavily Catholic country, he could not have evidence of a previous wife and child. He hid them so well that no one knew about them until the beginning of the 21st century. He had five children with his second wife, Rachel Coyote. Clara Petassi was his last mistress and she was the one with whom he was executed after World War II. Most of his offspring lived in a relative obscurity. Thank you.